Hi there, thank you for joining me today. I'm Sandra at artypapercrafters.com. Today I have a little tutorial for you here for this little box and I am I really do think that Knight of Navy and this Melon Mumbo colours are stunning together. I really do think they look very elegant. And inside I have a little Nivea Pearly Lip Balm and in January I always have lots of birthday presents to give out and I thought that this lip balm with a little gift card would be perfect in this box for that. So uh, let's get on and I'll show you how I made it today and the lid B is DSP from the Popper Paradise Speciality paper and I've reinforced it so that it's good and sturdy. So let's get on with our beautiful little box. So I'm get, again I'm going to make it in this stunning Knight of Navy and I've cut the same speciality paper but the stripey one. So we're going to score our base of our box first and we're putting it in on the long side and this measures 7 by 5 and 1 8 and we're going to score it on all four sides at 1 inch. So that couldn't be easier. So that's our scoring for the base. And then our DSP goes in and we are going to score that at half an inch and one and one eighth inches on all four sides. So half an inch, one and one eighth. Half an inch, one and one eighth, and the last side, and that's our scoring done. So let's get rid of the board, and we'll make up the base. Couldn't be simpler. It's just a box in the normal way. So we're going to cut up our sides and notch in. So it's a great time of the year, being New Year, and Stampin' Up! have now launched their celebration where you get free products for every £45 you spend, you choose a free product from the celebration brochure. And I'll just show you that now. So these are the products that you can choose. This is the celebration brochure. There are lots of different products and lots of offers. If you join Stampin' Up! at the moment, you get to choose £130 worth of products for £99, plus they're going to throw in your choice of two free stamp sets. So I say that's brilliant because that means any stamp sets uh, for any amount 
that gives an added value of up to £93. So if you add your £93 onto your £130, you're choosing nearly £230 worth of products all for £99, so that's definitely worth considering. Or if you just want to put in an order for every £45 you place, you get to choose a free product from this catalogue. Lots of products. These are two of the products that I've already earned. Uh, this is Delicate Details, which is lacy, la a nice lacy stamp set. That's photopolymer, so it's see-through. Brilliant. And this is called Tasty Trucks. Another great stamp set. Could have lots of fun with that. So that's worth popping over to my website and having a little look and see if there's anything there that that you fancy. But that offer of joining and getting nearly £230 worth of products, all for £99, sounds like a great bargain to me. Anyway, I digress. Let's continue with our box, making it up in the normal way. And I've used fast fuse, but you can use any adhesive that you like. That's the base of our box made. And now we're going to make the, the lid. So let's go and fold and burnish all our score lines. So as a demo, I obviously get to put my order in in November. Um, back in early December, I was allowed to put my order in because I've joined. So I, I get even um, get hold of the products uh, even before the launch in January. So that's fantastic. So this is our lid in the normal way. We cut out this square here and that square comes off there. You notch in very slightly here and then you notch a little piece out of here and a piece out of here. And we're going to do that all the way round. So these end pieces come off like that. notching in here and here Come up to the second score line those two pieces come out there notch in take that out of there that's all the tabs cut so we get rid of our bits and then I'm going to use a bit of this double-sided tape along my edges so along the outer edges we want some tape
and then I'm going to put fast fuse on my corner tabs. Solved it. And it has. Right. So we fix, fix our tabs together on all four sides. Then one by one we're going to take the tape off and press that inside like that. Do the same with this side. And that just gives it nice reinforcement on the lid as it's DSP. But still thick DSP. This stamping up makes very very good quality designer papers. Last tab. And in. And that's the lid made. Put our little lip balm in. A lid on. Nice fit. Now what I've done here across the lid here, whoops, got that stuck up on me, I don't know. So I've put a piece of Knight of Navy across there because I think that makes it look pretty and that measures one and a half inches by six and three eighths and then I've scored it at five eighths of an inch on each end. Press that over and then we're going to run some fuse across that. What is the matter with this today? I'll use my snail for the moment. And then I've run that across the middle and down. And that just, I think that looks pretty across there. And now we're going to do our sentiment. And my sentiment is they say it's your birthday. And that comes from the Sweet Sayings, which is in the main, main catalogue. So let's choose that they say it's your birthday and prep that on a block and then a piece of whisper white card stock and the melon mambo ink because I don't want to waste my card. Press that down, that looks good. And now we're going to get the big shot. I don't know why that doesn't seem to have stuck, so let's put a bit more across there. I obviously didn't put, put enough on, did I? That's better. That's better. That's better. We can't have that coming undone, can we? Right, let's get the big shot. And then we're 
going to use my layering ovals for this and I've already got this one which is the third size up to cut out my sentiment so pop that on about the middle and lid on and run that through Big shot, don't need that. Right. And then I've already cut out of Melon Mambo the layering squares, which is that one there. So again, that is one, two, three, the third size up. So the third size up on here and the third size up on the scalloped edge one. And then we're going to put a bit of snail on there and stick that on. Like that. And we're going to layer that on some dimensionals. And centre that in about the middle. And do you know what? That's still coming undone. I think that's what it needed. It needed taking off and pressing down properly, didn't it? That seems to have cured it now. And then I've put a rhinestone in the middle of that. So a little rhinestone there. And I finished mine off with that little tiny flower, which comes from this bunch uh, f uh, build flower builder punch, it's called, I think. Let's have a look in the catalogue. Here it is, it's the Blossom Builder Punch. That's what it is, and that's on page 188. Of the and I've cut out that one there, so I've got my Knight of Navy here. And just try and cut out the one flower. Probably get a leaf with it. And then we'll just use the two little flowers get rid of the rest and I've used my little foam pad and I use it on the opposite side to what I use it for my photopolymer stamp sets and then I press in the middle and put a little rhinestone on there let's cut some of those We're going to put one of those in the centre of each. Whoops, that wasn't very well done, was it? It's not in the middle. And then I just push it back upwards again, because you push it in and then suddenly it seems to push back down. It's probably me because I like it to be stuck properly. Where are my glue dots? So glue dots in the centre. I mean on the outside edge. Get my box and I put one in the corner here and 
one in the corner here. And I think that looks really rather nice. Dead pleased with those. So that's my project today. Hope you like it. I think that Knight of Navy and Melon Mambo look gorgeous together. And like I said, if you'd like to find out about celebration and products you can earn, or whether you'd like to join Stampin' Up! for £99 and choose two, almost £230 worth of uh, their products for that price of 99 which is a bargain, celebration starts from the 4th of January, I think it is. What did I do with my leaflet? Silly me. Celebration starts from the 4th of January to the 31st of March. Uh, so you've got plenty of time to decide whether you'd like to buy products or buy some each month if you wanted to, to get, to get free things. Entirely up to you. So that's all from me today. Click in the down arrow description bar if you'd like to go over to my blog for measurements or any details. And until the next time, it's bye for now. Bye.